Welcome in and thank you very much. Um, I am very unsure about this series that I am starting, but it has been requested by a couple of people and as much hmm, as I feel about it, got to give it a go, right? So here I am giving it a go. So yarn review. I have been given a ball of Amalia and it's by a company called Canon. Um, Canon Textile, which is in Turkey. Now, this feels to me, with my rough hands, fairly soft fairly soft and it's 100% acrylic I'd expect it to be slightly stiffer or rougher I don't know if you can see the little fuzz fuzz for me is good it's softness but um this is called white <laughs> hmm I wonder why it is white um batch code we don't need the batch code we don't need the batch code do we do people do the batch code in the review probably not i'll bypass it 100 grams 100 percent ac acrylic and it's approximately 330 meters in this one scheme and as you can see from the little triangle up here it is a double knit it is asking for four millimeter needles four millimeter hook that's handy. So I will be back in a moment and we'll open this little bad boy up and we'll see. I would say that was wearable. It doesn't feel overly soft on my skin, but it's soft. It's soft. Okay back in a minute okay so we are back with the Amalia and I'm going to give it a go the labels off can't go back now well we could but you know I'm not gonna so let's try and see I think the best thing is to Do a couple of different stitches, maybe. Ten, eleven, twelve. We'll stick with twelve. Twelve's enough, right? I think twelve's enough. Let's hope twelve is enough. Okay. So we've got twelve. That seemed okay. No problem. I'm going to do a standard single crochet. Um, oops, let's try that again. Let's not do it in the same stitch, Lisa. Let's do it in the right stitch. That feels really nice on the hook. It's gliding on nicely. It feels really soft. Maybe I shouldn't have started with the single crochet. <laughs> Look, this is my first time doing this. I'm just giving it a go. What I can turn around to you and say is that apparently this comes from Wilkinson's. It was bought in a shop called Wilkinson's here in the UK. And it retails for one pound twenty five pence. I'm going to do a couple of double crochets. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty one. 
I say a couple, I'm going to do a whole row of them. I, I'm quite liking working with this. I can't fault it right this moment. I can probably fault myself, but I can't fault the wool. I'm kind of glad she gave me this. This is, I quite like this. For £1.25, I would be very happy with this. I might have to see if they've got it in a couple of other colours next time I go into town. Because I'm sure she got it from our town and not another one. Okay, so there's a couple of simple stitches. So we've done a single and we've done a double. Let's do one technical one. <laughs> I say technical. I mean, I'm not going to go overly technical. But as I'm doing a lot of these right now, I'm going to do a front cross double crochet. And then we will frog. Now the bad thing is with this, as me doing front cross double crochet, which needs needs an odd number, really. But you know, we'll get the idea. We're not doing anything majorly technical here. But I am loving the way this feels. Bear with me. Sorry. Apologies, apologies. Emergency phone calls interrupting my yarn review. Tut tut indeed. So let's finish off these front cross double crochets. Now that worked nicely. I was expecting that to split then and it didn't. That's a good sign. So throughout all of this, it hasn't split. It's worked up nicely and evenly. It feels nice. Now the ultimate test of the frog. Now I'm doing this row slowly. I'm going to do the next couple fast to see if there's a difference. No, I'm ripping and it's it's fine. <gasps> Apart from that bit. Oh, oh, oh. Tangled with some hair and it goes kapochi. Kapochi. Don't ask me what that means because I don't know. Where's that bit? Why am I untangling a wrong bit? And now I've just knotted it even more. That was clever. Okay, well, I can't get past that bit because a bit of fluff has got caught in it. Brilliant yarn review, Lisa. For your first one, you did awesome. Ow! You broke me nail. Oh, there we go. We get past the knot. And apart from the fact that I knotted this at the end kind of semi by accident. We're going to take a look at this in a moment and see what the verdict is, how bad the wool is after frogging. And you know what, even that little bit that I just had trouble with, that has frogged absolutely brilliantly. 
and let's just grab a new bit of of wool to compare the two and without stretching it and keeping it there I would say that was pretty yarn good pretty yarn good so let's wind her back up put her label back on and what do we say about Amelia? Amelia? Amelia. Amelia. I would say I really like that and I would be happy to buy that again. It is lovely and squidgy and soft and nice to work with. Frog's nice when you're not Lisa and knotting it up with rubbish. <laughs> But I would say that was that was good. So that's Amelia, one pound twenty five in Wilkinson's. Um, I will just have a quick look if I can find it on another site just to see if I can compare it somewhere else. Bear with me. I'll pause this for a moment. OK, so the verdict is <laughs> I can't actually find it off of. Um, Wilkinson's and eBay I'm sure there's other ways of finding it but you know if you want to find something you want to find it straight away not hunt and hunt and hunt and hunt so difficult one to get hold of but I would say £1.25 worth it anyway if you're willing if you could please thumbs up please or maybe even subscribe down below if you haven't already i would appreciate it it'd be lovely thank you ever so much <sighs> hope this worked bye bye